Well, this year, the Beaumont Ballet Theater will celebrate the 30th anniversary of its production, Cinderella. The public performances will be March 7th and 8th at the Julie Rogers Theater. Tom Wright joins us from the Coconos School of Dance with more. Tom? Thanks a lot, Kelly. You know, a very special year for this 30th anniversary. And of course, you can keep anything going on for 30 years. You're doing something right. And uh, with us is, is Melanie Hartfield, and she's with the, the parents who help support this organization and, and, and keep this going on. Um, the Guild, actually, is what That's it's right. called. That's right. Um, what do you do for the 30th? Do you do something special for that? Well, we're just so proud of all of these wonderful dancers who are rehearsing and practicing so hard for the 30, 30th anniversary of this. Cinderella production that's been such an important part of our arts community here in Beaumont. So we're just celebrating the tradition of 30 years and what a great history yeah. it there's has a, been. There's a couple of things that, that you guys do that are, that are important besides the fact that the, the, the young ladies get to dance and, and yeah. but school performances. I think that's, that's right. huge because right. you, you do two performances for school kids, they, they, a thousand kids or something, that's they right. come in, they get the, exposed to ballet, that's right. but they may never see that otherwise. That's right. And for so many people in our community, Community. watching Cinderella was the first exposure that they had to ballet. We have people that tell us that and uh, they remember so fondly their first ballet so we're proud to be able to to be able to perform that for free, totally free for over a thousand school children every year. And a, a lot of these uh, dancers start from the, the little wee parts, like at the yes. fireflies, yes. right? And they work their way up and hope one day to be Cinderella. Who is our Cinderella this year? Our Cinderella is Emma Hunter, and she has danced here at our studio for quite a few years, and she now actually teaches classes as well, and so she's grown up through the production. Was from, she a firefly, do I'm, you know? I'm sure she was a firefly, <laughs> and then a mouse, and then a, a bird, and That's on up the ranks. It yes. makes it so much fun. Okay, the That's public right. performances are uh, a, uh, a week from this weekend. That's right. So keep March seventh and March eighth at the Julie Rogers Theater, and the March seventh performance is at seven thirty in the evening, and the March eighth performance is at six p.m. You're doing something fun on well, it's all fun, but extra fun on Saturday. This That's is right. a, a kind of an event where you can bring the kids and they take That's photographs right. and, and have a meal and That's right. a, a it's wedding called a, It's called the the Cinderella's Wedding Feast. Mm -hmm and uh, children can come and meet Cinderella, take pictures with Cinderella and the Prince, enjoy some wedding cake of Cinderella and the Prince, and just have a wonderful evening, and then go watch the show at 6 and make a night of it. Yeah, so you start that at 4, and then the We the start that at 4, at and tickets are $10 per person, so it's a bargain and a great way to spend the evening with your children. Well, so. you know, what's the importance of ballet in our community? Why do it? Well, it just provides... A, it just provides so much joy to everyone who both participates in it as well as who watch it. Yeah. Our families and so many arts lovers in the community it just adds such a, an enrichment to our community. Yeah. And right. We're really proud of, of that. Thank you so much. We appreciate again the performances on the 7th and 8th of March down at the Julie Rogers Theater. Once you take advantage of that and of course all the school performances as well. 30 years for Cinderella. Kelly, back to you. Thanks, Tom.